please turn off your cell phones. Certain characters who forget nothing, who walk clear-headed into successful realms of wakefulness, like professional golfers in the desert sky, the happy soldier reading psalms out loud atop the tank, the child giving the prologue to the school play celebrating the town's 150th anniversary, losing his place, becoming nervous and flushed, muttering a non sequitur, and shuffling off stage, scratching his arm. He keeps his eyes lowered so as not to meet the disdainful looks of his peers. Dressed in cheap finery, striding confidently in circles, repeating certain phrases and certain words, all wishing sincerely, perhaps inwardly praying, for an interval of mental fortitude, for something floating and glowing distributed equally to each living actor, something for each child. Wailing desperately to his or her secret god, scratching symbols in the skin of their mission, the appointed roles of their summoning of the spirits of characters who must have been nearly corporeal in the time of their parents. Watching sternly from the dark, remembering every lesson that passed through them like radio waves, nervous, reaching for some prevalent form for everything they know to be true, but throughout existences could not have been bothered to recall. They become silent again for another child on the stage in front of them, hearkening clumsily, imagining history, imagining sovereignness, imagining loss, remembering only the first time reading through the lines on the trembling page the cold, lonely thrill of preparation. Quiet time, furious with pride, red and rabid, his heart beating from the light, the faces, the felt costume, the forgetting of knowledge, the dissolution of the object, reveal the desert. A certain set of people become known to one another. Keep it going, you got them. Woo!